All right, so this is Marquette. We did have quite a bit of damage here. And so you can see there's a lot of shoots coming out of those centers of growth. And even from the, from the base buds right here, those are not not count buds. We didn't consider that when we pruned. This is the spur with the two uh, count buds. These, all of these that grew here are not. So that doesn't mean that they don't, they're not for fruitful. We've talked about this. You can see here the beautiful clusters. And so now we need to make a decision to leave only two uh, shoots in this, in this center of growth. Um, so I don't want this spur to go really far away. And I have this beautiful one with clusters. So I'm gonna leave that, remove this one. This one has only one inflorescence, you can see there, and it's a little bit behind. So I'm gonna not choose that one. This one is crossing all going all the way there. So I'm gonna clear it up. On the other side, I have one and I have two and I still have three. So I need to decide between one, two and three. This one is crossing. So just for easy it's to harvest. I'm gonna take it out because these two look pretty nice. So then the same here, we have uh, a lot of growth. We have four and I only want two. So I'm gonna start looking at, you know, the stage of development this one is the most developed with those two clusters so i'll remove this base one one and i'll probably take this one from up here there we go now i have two and there's four clusters in this section here here's the next spur this is a very long spur with a lot of growth uh, so this is behind compared with the rest so i'm going to take it here inside you can see this is a um it has a very 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 small inflorescence and so this not helpful at all i remove that one and so now i'm left with one to the inside two that are here and this one that is coming down um this one has more inflorescence than the other one so i'll just remove this one and keep this other one these two here on this side uh, here's another one the same story what was left from the pruning was this. Those two shoots actually did come out, but then I also have these other two here. So I need to decide what I want to do, which one I want to keep. There's one in the inside that is very small compared with the rest. That one is going to go out. And then between these two, I need to decide which one I want to keep. Uh, this one looks much better. The clusters, the future inflorescence are much bigger. So I'm going to keep this and this. And when I come next year, I'm gonna remove here, remove this and make this my new spur for this position. So then you're supposed to just keep going for each one of them, making sure that you always keep two clusters that they are similar in length and growth and as possible as homogeneous in the entire vine and the entire vineyard so that everything is going to ripe at the same time.